There was a lot of excitement at Garland High this year when the John Lennon bus came to town. Fine Arts Coordinator Brenda Hass has the details. The John Lennon Educational Tour Bus recently made a stop at Garland High School, providing a unique learning experience for some of our select honor music students where they created their own music and their own music video. So here we are, my name is Hans Tanner. We are on board the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus. This is the world's best nonprofit mobile recording studio. And what we do with this is we travel the country for 10 months out of the year. We go to schools everywhere and work with kids of all ages and all ability levels. So they get to come on this bus and using every piece of equipment that you can see and a lot that you can't see, get to create a project of their choice with a one eight hour day. Today the kids chose to write their own original song and at the end of the day we're going to shoot a music video for that same song. They had a couple of games that we had to play like make up a movie in fun of like five minutes and it was to uh, start getting our creative process going and to know how to work together so we can get a song put together. They're really pushing us to write pretty fast. Yeah, um, really fast. We're very fast. Uh, so we pumped out a verse probably in about 10 minutes. Something like that. So, so we were done writing everything. What do you think? Probably about within it? like 30 minutes, right? Yeah. We yeah. had the chords for the song and all the lyrics done in like two hours. So right now we're in the midst of getting the foundation for that song down. So drums and keys and piano and every everything that kind of is the bed of the song. And then we're going to start recording vocals. And after that, once everything is wrapped up, we have all the elements of the song together. We'll actually go out to the school and we'll stay in the bus too and shoot the music video for that song that those kids just wrote on the bus today. So what we do is like we have to go into the sound booth by ourselves and we have like the headphones on and we're listening to the track and we have to kind of insert where we sing or at least for me and Sarah and Trevor where we sing and so it's hard to get that exact um, especially when it's just you by yourself it's really kind of vulnerable but um, after Many tries, it, it worked out. <laughs> and we had to redo uh, vocal tracks after the music video, so uh, we were all tired and yes. sweaty, and it was, <laughs> it was harder to nail the part. So about 19 years ago, this whole idea was conceptualized by our executive director, Brian Rothschild, and he presented this idea to Yoko Ono, and Yoko Ono totally fell in love with it and knew that if John were still around today, he would absolutely support this mission and what we're doing. So we are essentially carrying on the mission and legacy of John Lennon. Um, in the pursuit of world peace, we, we are strong believers that world peace is very achievable. And, we're doing it in our own way. So John Lennon acted in his way through poetry, through his music, through his art, through his political activism. We're doing it in a very similar mindset, but in a different approach. It was really cool to see all these tributes to him like mm -hmm. throughout the bus, and it's true. Uh, he's just such a legendary icon. I thought it was cool to pay tribute to him in this way. Yes, music is very, very important to us, but more important than that is just that inspiration to create. And pursue something that they are excited about creating and doing and that's that's what the bus is a lot of times the catalyst for in these kids is to get them to realize that they can do it that we do want to listen we do want to hear from them and we want to we want to hear what they want to create and what their message is and this is such an amazing facility to be able to broadcast that message in a really clear really awesome looking and high production value way and these kids get access to all those tools. It's not just us creating it, we're creating it with them. I think we ended up going in a very different direction than anticipated. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, because at first we were, we were bouncing ideas, what genre do we want to write in? We have some guys who play trumpet, we have, we have strings, I play viola, and so we could do some kind of like cool jazz fusion thing, and then we ended up writing this like, I don't, I don't even know, this pop rock, pop rock song. Um, so for the first five minutes or so, we were just like bouncing ideas. What if we do this? What if we do this? And we just kind of took 
uh, what we thought was best and all like that. Like it wasn't one person that was giving all the ideas and everyone was like, okay. Like we were all bouncing ideas off each other and really, it was really agreeable that day. It was very models. evenly distributed. So we're hoping that giving this kid, these kids this opportunity and this experience to create these projects will inspire them to keep wanting to create and inspire them to pursue their passion and express themselves. And in doing so, it will make them happier people and it will inspire their friends and their family to do the same thing and make them happier. So it's very much that ripple effect that spreads out from the bus. I think it was just awesome to be a part of this process, to be chosen, you know? Like, how many schools could have had the opportunity to do this and that we were chosen and we were the students that were chosen out of hundreds of students that could have been chosen. And I mean, I feel really honored that we could do this. And it, was, it was fun. Yeah, roughly we reached thousands and thousands of kids uh, during our yearly tour and it's an amazing thing to be able to travel this country and see and experience the passion that these kids have because oftentimes when the bus comes to these educational facilities we might be the music program for the day or we might be the catalyst to not ditch the music program or the arts program for the day. There's been places we've gone where We've actually been the catalyst for bringing back the music program and the arts programs. And that is one of our missions that we act uh, through the bus with, is, is fighting for arts education and arts advocacy is very important to us. I, I thought it was good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, young. Uh, I, I wish it was better, but you know, you always wish it was better. You always yeah. wish you had more time. But I'm, I'm happy with what we did and the time that we did it. Yeah. I mean, they. They uh, really spent a lot of time mixing and producing it when we were gone, so that was pretty cool to see how far it came when we were listening to it before. We're so thankful to be able to do this kind of stuff, and if I haven't mentioned already, this whole organization and this whole operation, it works for free. It's a nonprofit, and we're able to keep it for free because of our, our, our amazing partners, Apple and Juniper and Canon, OWC. They're able to make these stops happen, and, we just are so thankful for their support and how they make arts education possible and accessible for kids who might not otherwise have access to this kind of tool set to work with. Yeah.